So today is a big day for the chicks because we released them and they are now intermingling with our older hens and we haven't checked on them in about an hour so hopefully everybody's still alive and nobody's missing an eye so this is the chicken yard Ooh, there's an iguana you see that running the guy in the tree it's pretty wild so there's a do iguanas eat chicks? So here are our four ladies. The one with the feathers missing from the neck is a turkin. So that is natural. And that freakish look is uh, the way it's supposed to be. So our hens are, these are our laying hens. And we originally bought a bunch of little chicks we learned four of them identified as roosters, so we have rehomed those four. And this is our turkey hut that's being used to house the chicks. As you can see, the door is open, kind of like a doggy door. And there are chicks out here, two chicks dusting. There are two chicks dusting here. Now, the black uh, thing, we're not sure what's going on, but you see that tail that's developing? Um, and this is a very strange looking hen, but it does have black feet and black uh, skin, which, you know, indicates it's a silky um, but it may be a roux based on the uh, tail feathers and we have one other gray hen that has similar feathers I think they're called saddle feathers and I think that's probably means that these are boys as well the gray one in the back the odd one So the gray one has feathers shooting at its butt. And I don't know, it just doesn't have the same doesn't have the same body shape as the rest of them. But the feathers are starting to come in and these are all different these are all different varieties of chickens. So this awkward looking one in the orange, uh, that one has a name. We named that one Beaker. These guys want in. So. Beaker is the odd one. He's got black feet. He just went to the left there behind their little shaded hut. So the one on the right there, the blondie, very pretty. And then we have the brown one is Chewbacca. Oh. Chewbacca because, you know, he's pretty Looks hairy, but it's it's really just feathers. So that gray speckled one, we need a name. If anyone has any suggestions, and this little blonde one is starting to dust herself because it's hot. And even though they have there's Beaker, so we got a good name for our blonde pretty hen. Uh, I think Beaker is appropriate for the oddly. Uh, <laughs> and Chewbacca. Chewbacca! So these guys are in here, but they can go anywhere in the yard because... But they have chosen to remain kind of where they've been for the past couple of weeks. 
when we got them, we got them just a couple days old. Here they come, venturing out into the unknown for them. They love pecking at that little bush. So even though those two with the feathers, the saddle feathers, are probably roosters, um, they've displayed no rooster behavior. But they're still young. I think the feathers are pretty determinative, so... Out of this tin batch, it looks like we may have four really cool bantams that we will keep forever. Wouldn't let them lay eggs for us. And if you have never had fresh eggs from hens, it is worth this effort. Plus, there's something very nurturing about keeping these creatures alive and happy. And it creates a lot of micro chores, taking care of them in the morning, checking on them. Everybody gets locked up, even the big girls get locked up at night because of predators and it sucks when a predator gets your chicken but so we've been hesitant to name them because uh, if if you lose a named pet it's a little bit more painful than if they were just chicken or the reds we just usually call red but chewbacca is obviously a chewbacca there's a little beaker coming at us Beaker's funny because he's always been an awkward looking thing. Um, there's that gray one with the saddle back looking at me. I don't know, it could even be a dove, but it's got no, I don't know. I'm not silky, is beautiful. Looks like a crow, but probably a, a bantam rooster, silky. Don't take my word for it. I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is their first day where the door is open and they have been allowed outside of their cage. And they have pretty much stayed very close to the cage. The other hens have come in and menaced them a little bit. We will have to establish a new pecking order. Um, the other hens we have are we've had for a few years, so um, it's going to be interesting when these reach maturity. Because these are bantams, they should be smaller and take up less room. Of course, the chicken coop, turkey coop is compliments of Billy Moore, my cousin. Here's everybody. What? I say what? They get shy when the camera's pointed at them. But it's also pretty hot. Florida, Palm Beach, sunny day, summer. So, yes, in the internet connection at Stevens Farm, apparently not as good as we would like. So if you've been watching, uh, we've been posting a lot of video of them and uh, their appearances have all pretty much changed. Pretty just Chewbacca's stretching out his legs there. So Chewbacca, Beaker, I guess a black one's Crow. Maybe Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah, he's gonna be Poe. Poe the Crow. Even though he's not a crow, he's probably a rooster. 
His name is now Poe. So that gray one looking at us, something flew over our head, so they were all startled. The speckled white and gray, we need a name. The blonde one, Blondie. Blondie. Very pretty. And no doubt this black silky is beautiful, but those tail feathers, hens don't have feathers like that. So, I don't know what's going on. Could he be a rooster? Beaker! Beaker is so awkward. And the uh, ladies are letting us know they're back there. So, always fun. And the product is fresh eggs. So we need a couple of chicken names, I guess, since uh, we're becoming attached. I think that's Beaker Poe and the mystery gray one that is some, probably a boy. Everybody else is hiding in that shelf right now, getting some shade from the hot weather. Alright, that's it for now. Enjoy uh, the rest of your day.